जमात बदलर क्रिश्चियन यूनिवर्सिटी संस्थापक है अतिथि में परमेश्वर की आवाज को सुनना है जो उसकी क्रांतिकारी शिक्षा लाई प्रसिद्ध है उन्नीस सौ बहत्तर को ही मुस्लिम जेनू छह महादीपा में पवित्र आत्मा नाल पूरे समाज को जीवन में बिताना सिखाया है इस पाठ्यक्रम में जिस तरह से कहे परमेश्वर द्वारा सुना मार्ग से हम सिखाता है कि किमें परमेश्वर की आवाज के द्वारा भावनात्मक पूर्णता को प्राप्त करना है इस सीखो के किमें इसके आत्मा की सुना तो अनुसार के विश्वास में दोष भावना तो आज में अति क्रोध तो प्यार में लेके जा सकती है ਇਹ ਤੀਜਾ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦਾ ਸਿਲੇਖ ਹੈ ਦੋਸ਼ ਲਾਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿਆਣਣਾ We want to welcome you back to the next session of Counsel by God ਅਸੀਂ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਸਲਾਹ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਅਗਲੇ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ And let's ask the Holy Spirit just to anoint this time ਆਓ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਆਤਮਾ ਨੂੰ ਆਖੀਏ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਸਾ ਕਰੇ Holy Spirit we present our hearts and our minds to you ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਆਤਮਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਿਲਾਂ ਅਤੇ ਮਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੇਰੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਸੌਂਪਦੇ ਹਾਂ and we ask that you speak deeply into our hearts ate assi mangde ha ki tu sade dilan nal dungiyai to gal kar we ask that you grant us revelation knowledge assi prarthna karde ha ki tu sanu prakash da gyan de and for what you do we give you all praise honor and glory ate jo tu karda hai us de layi assi tenu ustad aadar ate mehima dende ha in jesus name yesu de naam ate amen 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 well i trust that you tried some journaling uh, since you saw the last session mai ask karda ha ki kyun jo tusi pichle session nu vekhya si tusi kujh lekh nu likhan di koshish kiti hovegi i trust you wrote a love letter and let jesus respond to you mai ask karda ha ki tusi yesu nu ek pyar bhariya patr likhya hovega ate usne wapas tuhanu jawab ditta hovega and that you shared that with a couple people ate tusi us nu kujh lokan de naal vandya hovega and i trust it was a real blessing as god spoke into your heart ate mai ask karda ha ki tade layi ek asal barkat reya si jado parmeshwar ne tade dil de naal gal kiti si so in this session we want to talk about the accuser versus the comforter is session de vich assi dosh laun wala banam tasalli den wala us de bare gal karna chahunde ha i preached a sermon on this years ago in my home church meri karelu kalisia de vich is saal mai ek upadesh da prachar kita si The title of the sermon was the accuser versus the comforter. Ate upadesh das se le ke si ki dosh laun wala banam tasalli den wala. And what the Lord showed me was that accusative thoughts came from the devil. Ate Prabhu ne mainu e vikhaya ki dosh laun wale vichar shaitan to aande san. And comforting thoughts came from the Holy Spirit. Ate tasalli den wale vichar pavitra aatma to aande san. And I went through my own mind and I asked what percent of the time was it accusative thoughts? Ate main mere apne mann de vich vekhya ate vekhya ki kinna pratishat sama dosh laun wale vicharan da hunda si. And what percent of the time was I thinking comforting thoughts? Ate kinna pratishat sama main tasalli de vicharan nu soch reha hunda si. And I figured that about 80% of my day was accusation. Ate main e pata lagaya ki mere din da 80% dosh laun da sama si. and 20% was comforting thoughts ate vi pratishat tasalli den wale vichar san it seemed like no matter what i did there was always a voice inside saying it was the wrong thing is nal koi farak nahi si ki main ki kita hamesha mere andar ek awaaz hundi si ki ek galat gal hai if i was working on preparing a sermon for sunday jekar main aitwar nu ek prachar nu taiyar kar raha hunda si i would have i would have a thought come to me that would say this mere kol ek vichar avega jo ki is tarah akhega it would say if you really loved your people you'd be out there visiting them at their homes jekar tu sachmuch lokan nu pyar karda hai ta tu onna nu kar kar ja ke milda hovega and so i get in my car i go out and visit some homes is tarah main apni car bar karda ate karan vich milan le chale janda a lot of times people would not be home ate bahut var log ghar vich nahi honge so i'd have a thought go through my mind ate mere mann vich is tarah da vichar honda si if you really loved your sheep you would be working on a sermon for sunday jekar tu sachmuch apni peedan nu pyar karda hai ta tu aitwar nu onna de layi updesh nu taiyar kar reha hovega and that way you could feed them some real meat and not just milk ate us tang de naal tu ohna nu meat de sakda hai ate sirf doodh hi nahi and i always felt it was the holy spirit chastising me ate main sada eh mehsoos kita ki eh pavitra aatma mainu taadna de reya si but it just seemed like no matter what i did it was the wrong thing par is naal koi farak nahi penda si ki main ki kita eh hamesha galat gal si because the voice of the accuser ruled in my mind kyunki dosh laun wale di awaaz mere mann de upar raaj kardi si and i finally realized that spiritual thoughts come into our minds ate main ant e pehchaneya ki aatmik vichar sade mana de vich aunde san 
And the Bible says we have to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. The Bible says that we have to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Because we are Because we are involved in a spiritual warfare. Because we are involved in a spiritual warfare. So some of these thoughts are not just my thoughts it's part of a spiritual warfare. Is like kujh vichar mere vichar nahi han ek aatmik yuddh da hi hissa han. I did not realize that thoughts were part of a spiritual warfare. Main eh pehchanya nahi si ki vichar aatmik yuddh da ik hissa hunde han. I mean I'd read the verse take every thought captive. Mera arth hai ki main ait nu padhya si ate har ek vichar nu gulam bana laya si. But I don't think I understood that spontaneous thoughts were coming from the spiritual world. But I didn't think that spontaneous thoughts were coming from the spiritual world. But I didn't think that spontaneous thoughts were coming from the spiritual world. We learned in the last session that the God's voice comes as flowing thoughts. I see. In the last session, we learned that the God's voice comes as flowing thoughts. It comes as spontaneous 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 thoughts. and the voice of satan and his demons also come as spontaneous thoughts ate shaitan ate us di dushtatma ma di awaaz vi subhavik vicharan de vajo hi aundi hai i think we've all been in prayer main sochda ha ki assi sare prarthna de vich rahe ha and and we've had a spontaneous negative thought drop right into the middle of our prayer time ate sade saryan de kol sade prarthna de samay de vichkar hi ek nakaratmak vichar sade man de vich aa janda hai and i just used to think oh what a terrible thought ate main eh sochda hunda si ki kinna bhayanak vichar aaya hai And I'd say Mark stop that. Ate main aakhda si ki Mark is no band kar. Because I thought it was me that came up with that thought. Kyunki main eh sochda si ki eh mera vichar man de vich aaya hai. And what I realized now is it wasn't me that came up with the thought. Ate hun main eh jaanya hai ki eh main nahi sa jis ne vichar socha si. It was a demon dropping a spontaneous negative thought into my mind. Ek dusht aatma si jeda ki mere man de vich nakaratmak vichar anu pa raha si. I have learned to separate the thoughts in my mind into three categories. मैं मेरे मन दे विच विचारा नो तीन श्रेणियां दे विच वंडना से क्या होया है? The spontaneous negative thoughts are from demons. सुबाविक नकारात्मक विचार दुष्टात्मा दोहन दे हन. And the spontaneous positive thoughts are from the Holy Spirit. अते सुबाविक सकारात्मक विचार पवित्र आत्मा दोहन दे हन. And the analytical thoughts are mine. अते विश्लेषण करन वाले विचार मेरे हों दे हन. So when I start thinking and building and constructing thoughts myself that's me ate jadon main sochna aramb karda ate mere vicharan nu nirman karna aramb karda ha ta eh main ha but if it's spontaneous it's coming from the spirit world par jekar eh subhavik hai ta eh atma de sansar to aunda hai i had to be a christian for at least 12 years before i could say that sentence is vaak nu kehn de layi mainu 12 saal tak masihi hona paya si Spontaneous thoughts are spirit level communication. Subhavik vichar atma de padar da sanchar hai. And little thoughts are me thinking. Ate vishleshan de vichar main soch reha hunda ha. So now we need to learn to distinguish Satan's thoughts from the Holy Spirit's thoughts. Ate hun sanu shaitan de vichar aur pavitra atma de vicharan vichkar farak karna sikhan di lod hai. The word in the Old Testament for intercession is paga. Purane niyam vich vicholgi di prarthna de layi shabad istemal kita gaya paga hai. And paga means to strike or light upon by chance. Ate paga da arth hai ki achanak aa jana ya achanak ko jag pena. It also means an accidental intersecting. But this dar te bhi hai ki achanak ek nu kat ke aage lang jana. And so I said, God, how is intercession striking and lighted upon by chance? Ate main akya parmeshwar vicholgi di prarthna ki main achanak marna hai ya achanak jag pena hai. How is intercession an accidental intersecting? Ki main vicholgi di prarthna achanchet ek nu kat ke aage lang jandi hai. And God said when said when I call you to pray for a person. Ate parmeshwar ne aakhya jadon main tenu ek vyakti layi prarthna karan vaste sadda dinda ha. And I ask you to intercede for a person. Ate main aakhda ha ki us vyakti de layi prarthna kar. I'm going to send thoughts that will strike and light up on you by chance. Main ajhe vicharan nu bhejanga jehde ki achanak tere man de vich jag pehnge. They will accidentally intersect your thought process. So achan chet teri soch di prakriya nu kat ke aage langange. And it's really the voice of my spirit calling you to pray. Ate meri aatma di awaaz hai jehdi ki tenu prarthna karan de layi sadda de rahi hai. And so I have a new confession. Ate hun mere kol ik nawa ikrar hai. You can say it with me if you'd like to. Jekar tusi chande ho ta tusi mere naal isnu keh sakde ho. I honor chance encounter thoughts. Main achan chet paint karne wale vicharan da aadar karda ha. I honor thoughts. Main vicharan da aadar karda ha. That accidentally intersect. Jehde achanak hi kat ke aa jande han. My thought process. Meri soch di prakriya nu. 
because it's the voice of the holy spirit kyunki ye pavitra aatma di awaaz hai calling me to pray mainu prarthna karan de layi saadhi hoyi and for me those were brand new confessions ate mere layi oh bilkul nave ikrar han i had never honored spontaneous thoughts main kade vi subhavik vicharan da aadar nahi kita hai i scorned them main unna di nindya kiti si i said get away from here i'm thinking main eh aakda hunda si ki main tho dur chale jao main soch reha ha and i went back to reason and logic ate main tark ate daleel de vich wapas chale janda si because i am part of a culture that worships the mind and worships reason kyunki sabhyachar da ek hissa man di aradhna karna ate tark di aradhna karna si and god's approach is very different ate parmeshwar di pahunch bahut hi alag hundi hai out of my innermost being will flow mere andro vahav niklega so he's asking me to tune to flow ate oh mainu vahav de naal judan layi aak reha hai and not tuned to reason at the tark nal judan de layi nahi they was actually satan in the garden of eden who said you can use your mind ye asal de vich shaitan si adam de baag vich jis ne aakya ki tusi apne man da istemal kar sakde ho it was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil e change ate bure de gyan da ik ruk si and they and adam and eve were forbidden to eat from that tree ate adam ate hawa nu us ruk to khan to mana kita gaya si And Satan says, you know, when you eat of that tree, then you're then you're going to know you're going to become like a god. अतः शैतान ने आकर ऐसी कि जेकर तुसी इस रोक तो खाओगे तो तुसी जानोगे अतः तुसी परमेश्वर वर्गे बन जाओगे. You're going to know. तुसी जानोगे. So it's all about me knowing. अतः ये सब मेरे जानने दे बारे हैं. Me reasoning. मेरे तर्क करने दे बारे. And God said, no, that's not what the way I designed you. अतः परमेश्वर ने आकर कि नहीं इस टंग नल में तोड़ी रचना नहीं की थी. I want you to have a walk with me in the cool of the day. मैं चाहूँगा हाँ कि दिन दे ठंडे वेले तुसी मेरे नल सैर करो. And I'll speak to you. अतः मैं तेरे नल गाल करूँगा. And you can live out of my voice. अतः तू मेरी आवाज दे अनुसार जीवन बिता सकता है. And so he suggests that I live out of his voice, not my reason. इसलिए उसने सुझाव देता सी कि ऐसी उस दी आवाज दे अनुसार रहिए मेरे त So I needed to repent for worshiping the god of rationalism. इसलिए मैंने तर्कवाद दे परमेश्वर दी आराधना करन तो तौबा करन दी लोड है. And if you need to we can repent together. अतः जेकर तुसी चांदे हो तसी इकट्ठे तौबा कर सकदे हां. Just say this. इस तरह आखो. Dear Lord Jesus. प्यारे प्रभु यीशु. I repent for worshiping my mind. मैं मेरे मन दी आराधना करन तो तौबा करदा हां. For leaning to my own understanding. मेरी अपनी समझ दे अतबार करन तो And from this day on, अतः आज दे दें तो, I choose to live out of my heart. मैं अपने दिल दे अनुसार जीवन चुन लेंदा हाँ. I choose to tap into your river. मैं तेरी नदी दे नाल जुड़ जाना चुन लेंदा हाँ. And allow your river to guide my life. अतः तेरी नदी नो मेरे जीवन दी अगवाई करने दी जाजा देंदा हाँ. I choose the anointing of the Holy Spirit. मैं पवित्र आत्मा दे मसानो चुन दा हाँ. Over my own reason. मेरे अपने तरक दे ऊपर. Thank you, Lord. तानवाद प्रभु. Amen. Amen. and for for me that gets me out of a box of rationalism ate e menu tarkwad de ik dabbe to bahar kadda hai and allows me to go have a new platform to move in the holy spirit ate pavitra atma de vich challan layi mainu ik nave manch nu dinda hai so let's take a look at some of the names of satan aao assi shaitan de kujh nama nu vekhiye because when i say a spontaneous negative thought is demonic kyunki jadon main eh aakda ha ki subhavik nakaratmak vichar shaitani hunde han Let's define negative as any spontaneous thought that lines up with the name of Satan. Aao usi nakaratmak di paribasha deye us kisi bhi subhavik vichar de vajon jeda ki shaitan de naam de naal judda hai. Would you turn your Bibles to Revelation chapter 12 verses 10 and 11? Tusi mere naal apne Bible de vichon vekh sakde ho Prakash di poti 12 de usi 10 te 11 ayat. Revelation chapter 12 verses 10 and 11. Prakash di poti 12 de usi 10 te 11 ayat. The names of a person indicate the character of that person. एक व्यक्ति दा नाम उस दे चरित्र दा संकेत करदा है. And so in the Bible the names of Satan indicate his character and his work. इसी तरह हम बाइबल दे विच शैतान दा नाम उस दे चरित्र अते उस दे काम दा संकेत करदा है. So chapter 12 verse 10 says इसलिए अध्याय 12 उस दी 10 आयत ते तरह आखदी है. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come for the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down he who accuses them before our God day and night ate main ik vaddi awaaz swarg vich eh aakde hoye suni pai hun sade parmeshwar di mukti ate samartha ate raj ate oh de masih da ikhtiyar ho gaya hai kyun jo sade bhrawan nu dosh laun wala jehda sade parmeshwar de huzur ohna utte raat din dosh launda hai hethan sutte gaya hai satan is called an accuser shaitan nu dosh laun wala aakhya janda hai the word word 
The word diabolus, the word for devil, really means to accuse and to slander. Shaitan de liye istemal ki tagya shabd diabolus da arth hai ki dosh loan wala ate nindya karan wala. So the center of Satan's work in your and my life is to accuse us. Is tarah shaitan de kam da kinder tuade ate mere jivan vich sanu dosh dena hai. And that ac- accusation goes out in every direction. Ate dosh loan wala har ek disha de vich janda hai. He'll accuse me to myself. Oh, mainu khud nu dosh devega. He'll accuse you to me. Oh, mere liye tuade te dosh lavega. And between me and God, there'll be accusation flowing. Ate mere ate parameshwar de vich kar ek dosh loan da vahav hovega. The accusation goes in every direction. Dosh loan wala har ek disha de vich janda hai. So when I'm listening to accusative thoughts I'm listening to a demon talking to me. Jadon main ik dosh lon wale de vicharan nu sun reha ta main ik dushta atma nu mere naal gal baat karda sun reha. It took me a long time to come to grips with that. Mainu eh samjhan de layi kafi samay laga si. How about a few examples from scripture of this accusation in process? Is dosh lon di prakriya de vich pavitra shastra to kujh udaharan de bare assi vekhiye. In Job chapter 1 verse 9. Ayub adhyay 1 us di 9 ay Satan is accusing mankind before God. Satan parmeshwar de age manukh jati te dosh laga reha hai. And Satan answered the Lord and says, does Job fear God for nothing? Satan ne Yehova nu uttar de ke aakhya ki Ayub parmeshwar to haade kadi nahi darda. Now there's a very accusative tone in that sentence. Unhe us vaak de vich ek badi hi dosh laun wali ton hai. Job is saying, look, I don't think Satan is saying I don't think Job worships you because you're God it's just because of all that you've done for him. Un shaitan usnu aakhda hai ki Ayub is liye teri aaradhna nahi karda hai ki tu parmeshwar hai par is liye kyon jo us sab kuch tu usde liye kita hai is liye teri aaradhna karda hai. And he's suggesting if God hadn't did so much for God, for Job that maybe Job wouldn't worship him. Ate us sujhav dinda hai ki jekar parmeshwar Ayub de liye ina kuch na karda ta Ayub us di aaradhna na karda hunda. And then Job Satan also sends his accusation directly to us. Ate fir shaitan us de dosha nu sidha sade wal vi bhejda hai. In Luke 4:3 Luke ka 4 adhyay us de tin ayat vich Satan is talking about to Jesus. He's talking to Jesus. Shaitan Yesu de nal gal kar raha hai. He says if you are the son of God. Wo aakhda hai ki jekar tu parmeshwar da putra hai. If you think you're so hot. Jekar tu sochda hai ki tu bahut zyada garam hai. And I think we hear that voice inside of our minds a lot. ਅਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਚਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਹਾਂ. If you think you're such a great Christian, how come you're doing this? ਜੇਕਰ ਤੂੰ ਇੰਨਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਮਸੀਹੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਦਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ? And I didn't know that those thoughts were coming from demons. ਅਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਣਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਦੁਸ਼ਟ ਆਤਮਾਵਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹਨ. And I would just battle them myself. ਅਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਇੱਕ ਲੜਾਈ ਲੜਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ. Or I might just think they're coming from the Holy Spirit. ਮੈਂ ਯਾ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਦਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਆਤਮਾ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ. But you're not going to win if you battle a demon yourself. ਪਰ ਜੇਕਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਹੀ ਇੱਕ ਦੁਸ਼ਟ ਆਤਮਾ ਨਾਲ ਲੜਾਈ ਲੜ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿੱਤੋਗੇ ਨਹੀਂ. The way I've learned to handle that kind of a thought is this way. ਜਿਸ ਢੰਗ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੰਭਾਲਣਾ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਹੈ. I say in the name of Jesus I bind that demon. Main aakda ha ki Yesu de naam vich main us dusht aatma nu band dinda ha. And I command you to be still in Jesus name. Ate main Yesu de naam vich tin tham jaan da hukm dinda ha. And whenever I have a spontaneous accusative thought that's what I say. Ate jadon kade vi koi subhavik dosh laun wala vichar mere man vich aunda hai ta main is tarah aakda ha. I don't say oh Mark you shouldn't think that way. Ate main eh nahi aakda ha ki Mark tenu is tarah nahi sochna chahida hai. I say demon you are bound leave now. Main aakda ha ki dusht aatma tu banni gayi hai hun tu chhad ke chali ja. And uh, Satan also accuses God to us. Ate shaitan saade age parmeshwar te vi dosh launda hai. Would you turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 and 5? Tusi mere naal Bible de vichon vekho utpat us da tin adhyay. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 Utpat tin adhyay us di ek ayat Now the serpent was more crafty than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made and he said to the woman indeed has God said you should not eat from any tree of the garden Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 Utpat di kitab tin adhyay us di ek ayat sab sab jangli janwaran nalo jinna nu Yehova parmeshwar ne banaya si chatar si ate usne us divi nu aakhya pala parmeshwar ne sach much aakhya hai ki baag de kise birsh to tusi na khayo
And verse 5 says this. For God knows that in the day that you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you'll become like God, knowing good from evil. So here Now that's a very accusative tone. He's saying the only reason God doesn't want you to eat from that tree is because if you eat from it, you're going to become like God yourself. So God doesn't really have your best interest in mind. He's trying to hold you down. He doesn't really care for you. If he cared for you, he wouldn't let this happen. See, all of that is accusative in tone. And all of that is demons. And at this point in my life, when I hear that, I say in the name of Jesus, I bind that demon. And I command you to be still in Jesus' name. And that shuts down the accusation within my mind. And it frees me to live a much more positive life. And in James chapter 3, the Bible says that uh, we accuse each other. The tongue is a fire. It's a world of iniquity. And it's set on fire by hell. It's demons who get me to say negative stuff. Have you seen Sister So-and-so? I, I, I don't think, she, I think she's backsliding. And I speak negative, accusative stuff about a person. The Bible says that's hell talking. It's not just me talking. That's a demon who's inflamed my tongue. It's an accusative attitude being spoken out. And so we decide to take a stand against all accusation. It is the center of Satan's work. And it will not live within us. Say this with me. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke all accusation. I command it to leave me in Jesus' name. You will not have a place within me. I will come alongside. And I will comfort. And I will not accuse. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And with that confession and that commitment, you put a wall between you and Satan and say, hands off. And you need a wall between you and him because he's seeking to destroy, destroy you. Now, in addition to being an accuser, he's also a liar. In John 8.44 it says, Whatever he speaks is a lie. He speaks from his own nature. For he is a liar. And he's the father of all lies. So I'm going to assume that with the accusation, there's going to be some lies. There might be enough truth to make it palatable to me. But it's going to be 100% true. 
it's just going to be true enough for me to accept it ye sirf mere liye ena sacha hovega ki main is nu swikar kar lavan but there's going to be enough error in there to mess me up par ithe mainu gadbad de vich pawn de layi ithe kafi galti hovegi maybe 85% truth and 15% error ho sakda hai ki 85% sachai ate 15% galti i'd like you to turn your bible to job chapter 1 verse 9 main chahna ha ki tusi mere naal apniyan bibles de vich vekho ayub 1 aday us di 9 ayat job chapter 1 verse 9 ayub 1 aday us di 9 ayat verses 9 and 10 us di 9 ate 10 ayat so here is satan accusing job it is satan ayub te dosh la reha hai and mixed with his accusation i wonder if there is some lies ate is dosh laun de vich main vekhda ha ki kujh jhoot vi hovega as we read to the verse let's figure out what's true and what's a lie jado assi ayatan nu padde ha ta oh assi vekhiye ki sach ki hai ate jhoot ki hai then satan answered the lord does job fear god for nothing ta shaitan ne yehova nu uttar de ke aakya ki ayub parmeshwar to haade kaddi nahi darda have you not made a hedge around about him and his house and all that he has ki te us de ate us de kar de ate us de sab kase de dwale waad nahi la chaddi well that's true he god had made a hedge around him e ta sach si parmeshwar ne us de ale dwale ik waad lai hoyi si and god does that for every one of us ate parmeshwar sade vichon har ek de layi o karda hai as we follow him in holiness jado assi pavitrata de vich usde piche chalde ha he puts a hedge, a hedge of protection around us oh ek surakhya di ward nu sade ale dwale la dinda hai so satan cannot devour us is tarah shaitan sanu nigal nahi sakda hai all right so he has a hedge around his house and all that he has on every side hun usde ghar de ate usde sab kuch de ale dwale ik ward lagi hoyi hai and you've blessed the work of his hand ate tu usde haathan de kamma vich barkat de chadi hai that's true ate sahi hai and it's true in your and my life too ate tade ate mere jeevan de vich vi sach hai god blesses the work of our hand parmeshwar sade haathan de kamma vich barkat dinda hai and his possessions have increased in the land ate us da mal dharti vich vad gaya hai and that's true ate us sach hai and it's true in our lives also ate sade jeevana de vich vi sach hai especially if we believe god for it ek khas karke jekar assi parmeshwar te vishwas karde ha During some years of my life I didn't believe God for these things. Mere jeevan de kuch saalan tak main inna gallan de upar vishwas nahi kita si. And the Bible says according to our faith be done to us. Ate Bible dasdi hai ki saade vishwas de anusar saade naal ho javega. And so if I don't believe for I don't get it. Is liye jekar main vishwas nahi karda ha ta main prapat nahi karda ha. At this point I am believing for all of that. Is samay main unna sabna gallan de liye vishwas kar raha ha. I'm saying God I want a hedge around my house. Main chahna ha ki parmeshwar main apne ghar de aale dwale ik ward nu chahna ha. You say it with us. Tusi sade naal is tarah ko. God I believe you for a hedge around my home. Parmeshwar main vishwas karda ha ki tu mere ghar de aale dwale ik ward lagai hui hai. I believe for you to bless everything that I do. Main vishwas karda ha ki jo kuch bhi main karda ha us de vich tu barkat dinda hai. I believe for you to bless the work of my hands. Main vishwas karda ha ki tu mere haathan de kamma vich barkat dinda hai. And for my possessions to increase in the land. Ate tarti te mera maal vad janda hai. I believe for that. Main us de layi vishwas karda ha. Thank you Lord. Dhanwad Prabhu. For your gifts to me. Mere layi teriyan daata vaste. I receive them. Main unna nu prapat kar lenda ha. They're honored. O adar yogan. You give them freely to me. Tu unna nu muft vich mainu dinda hai. Thank you Lord. Dhanwad Prabhu. Amen. Amen. So if we believe for it it's available for us. Jekar assi vishwas kariye ta is sade layi uplabdh hai. So all of those things were true. Is sariyan gallan sachiyan san. This is the accuser of the brethren speaking a whole ton of truth. Ye prama te dosh laun wala puri sachai nu bol raha hai. Now he's going to add one lie to the end of it. Ate o ant de vich ek line nu jodan ja raha hai. Verse 11. 11 ayat. Put forth your hand now and touch all that he has and he will surely curse you to his face. Jara tu apna hath ta vada ate jo ko jos da hai usnu sho o tere muh te fitkara paauga. So now we had a lie. Hun sade kol ek jhoot hai. We say you take away everything and tell you what's going to happen. Wo aakta hai ki tu sab kuch le le ate vekh tu fir ki hunda hai. He's not going to worship you anymore. Wo bilkul teri aradhna fir nahi karega. Job is going to curse you. Ayub tenu fit kara paauga. And that was a lie. Ate wo ek jhoot si. Because God actually took away everything. Kyunki parmeshwar ne asal vich sab kuch le le. 
and he didn't actually curse god ate usne asal de vich parmeshwar nu fitkar nahi lagayi so 85% truth is tarah 85% sach 15% lie ate 15% jhoot so how about you and i maybe we fail at something in life tode te mere bare ki hai ho sakta hai ki assi jeevan vich kise gall layi asafal hoye ha and satan will just expand that and say you never going to succeed ate shaitan isnu vistar karega te akhega ki tu kade safal nahi hovega well there's a lie in that it is de vich ek jhoot hai well just because i failed once or twice doesn't mean i'm never going to succeed is da yarth nahi hai ki main ek ya do bar asafal ho gaya ha ta main kade vi safal nahi hovanga i keep pressing in until i win jab tak main jitna nahi ha main apni koshish karda rehnda ha And so I look for those generalized negatives like this is never going to work. Is le main na aam nakaratmak gala nu vekhda ha jive ki ek kade vi kaam nahi karan ja raha hai. And I say that's a lie from the pit of hell. Ate main aakda ha ki ye ek narak de toye ton ek chhoot hai. And I bind that demon and I command him to leave. Ate main us dushtatma nu band dinda ha ate usnu chhad ke jaan da hukm dinda ha. Now if we go to the New Testament we'll find another example of ਲਾਈ ਜੇਕਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਵੇਂ ਨੇਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਝੂਠ ਦੀ ਉਦਾਹਰਨ ਨੂੰ ਵੇਖਾਂਗੇ ਇਨ ਐਕਟ ਚੈਪਟਰ 5 ਵਰਸ 3 ਵੀ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਰਸੂਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਰਤਵ ਪੰਜ ਅਧਿਆਇ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਆਇਤ 3 ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਵੇਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਐਨਾਨਾਇਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਫਾਇਰਾ ਹੈਡ ਸੋਲਡ ਸਮ ਲੈਂਡ ਹਨਾਨਾ ਅਤੇ ਸਫੀਰਾ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਵੇਚੀ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਦ ਮਨੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਚਰਚ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਪੈਸਾ ਕਲੀਸੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇਣਾ ਸੀ and they decided to lie about it ate unna ne iste bare jhoot bolan da faisla kita and say that they were giving all the money to the church and they were keeping some for themselves ate unna ne aakhya ki assi sara paisa kalisiya nu de rahe ha par oh apne aap layi kujh rakh rahe san and here's the comment back from peter ate patras to wapas tippni is tarah hundi hai why has satan filled your heart to lie kyun shaitan ne tode dil nu jhoot de naal par ditta hai so you know At one point in my life I don't think I would have said that was Satan. Ek samay mere jeevan de vich main kade nahi socha hona si ki oh shaitan ne aakhya si. I would have I would have said well we were just you know we're thinking about our together and we just thought this up. Main aakna si ki assi ta ikatte soch rahe si ate assi is de bare sochya si. No it wasn't just you and me thinking. Nahi eh tusi ate main sirf soch nahi rahe sa. It was Satan filling our heart. Eh shaitan sade mana nu par rahe si. So these spontaneous thoughts like hey why don't you lie it came from a demon. Ate subhavik vichar jive ki tu kyun na chhoot bole ek dusht aatma de valo aaya si. And so I've learned to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Ate is karke main har ek vichar nu masih di agyakari vich gulam banona sikh laya hai. The thought hey I can't do that that's a lie. Ye vichar ki main nahi kar sakda ha ek chhoot hai. Cuz I can do I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Kyunki main Masih de vich jehda mainu bal dinda hai sab na gallan nu kar sakda ha. Or God doesn't love me because of what I've done. Ya fir parmeshwar mainu pyar nahi karda hai kyun jo main hi kita hai. Well that's a lie. Oh ta ik jhoot hai. I mean there's nothing I can do that can ever separate me from the love of God. Mera arth hai ki kuch bhi ajaya main kade nahi kar sakda ha jehda ki mainu parmeshwar de pyar to add karega. So when those thoughts show up I cast them out. Is layi jadon us tarah de vichar aunde han ta main unna nu taas uddda ha. Satan's also an adversary and an enemy. Shaitan ek virodhi vi hai ate ek dushman vi hai. It says the enemy who is the devil. Likha hai ki dushman jada ki shaitan hai. It says be of sober spirit be on the alert your adversary the devil prowls around. Likha hai ki tusi chukane raho sachet raho kyunki tuhada virodhi shaitan kumda rehnda hai. And he's seeking to devour you and me. Ate oh tuhanu ate mainu faad khan nu phirda hai. but resist them in the faith par vishwas de vich us da samna karo all right so how does he prowl around oh kive idhar udhar palda phirda rehnda hai he prowls around in my mind and your mind oh mere man te tade man de vich palda phirda rehnda hai and he tries to get us to believe lies ate koshish karda hai ki assi jhoot te vishwas kariye and accusative things ate dosh laun waliyan gallan te and these things are not true eh gallan sachiya nahi han and so i resist them is layi main unna da samna karda ha Satan is a murderer from the beginning. Shaitan shuru to hi ek qatil reha hai. So I think that every destructive murdering thought is coming from Satan. Is layi main sochda ha ki har ek tabah karne wale qatil karne wale vichar shaitan to aunde han. He's a murderer that's the core of his being. Oh ek qatil karne wala hai oh us de kendra da ek hissa hai. It's what he does. Eho hi o karda hai. So if a thought within me is killing my faith hope and love I'm assuming it came from a demon. Is le jekar ek vichar mere vishwas aas ate pyar nu maar raha hai ta main manda ha ki ek dushtatma to aunda hai. 
And the other thing that Satan does is he disguises himself as an angel of light. ਅਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਗੱਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਿ ਸ਼ੈਤਾਨ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਨਣ ਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਤ ਵਜੋਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਲਿਆਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ। 2 Corinthians 11:14 ਦੂਸਰਾ ਕੋਰਿੰਥੀਆਂ 11 ਅਧਿਆਇ ਉਸ ਦੀ 14 ਆਇਤ Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. ਸ਼ੈਤਾਨ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਨਣ ਦੇ ਦੂਤ ਦੇ ਪੇਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਆਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ। So he's going to come and pretend he's like the Holy Spirit. Is tarah wo aayega te dikhawa karega ki jive ki oh pavitr atma hai. And he's going to tell me off. Ate oh mainu aakhega. And he's going to say Mark you're such a miserable sinner. Ate oh aakhega ki Mark tu ta bada mand bhaga paapi hai. You are so weak. Tu bahut kamzor hai. You never do it right. Tu kade bhi sahi nahi karda hai. And I'm going to be tempted to think it's the Holy Spirit. Ate main eh sochan di prakhya vich hovanga ki eh pavitr atma hai. But it's not. Pare nahi hai. and i want to show you why it's not ate main tonu vikhavanga ki ye kyon nahi hai turning your bibles to second corinthians 3 verses 6 to 9 the bible de vich vekho dusra corinthians 3 adhyay us di 6 ayat to leke 9 ayat tak second corinthians chapter 3 dusra corinthians 3 adhyay verses 6 through 9 6 to leke 9 ayat tak now these verses are almost unbelievable to me ye ayat ta mere layi lagbhag avishwas karan waliyan han I can hardly believe the Bible says what's in them. Main mushkil naal us te vishwas karda ha jo Bible aakhdi hai ki ohna de vich hai. In verse 5, 5:5, it says not that we're adequate in ourselves to consider anything as coming from ourselves, but our adequacy is from God. Ye nahi pai assi aap to is jogge ha jo kise gal nu apne hi valon samjhiye sagu saadi yogyata parmeshwar valon hai. It's God who made us adequate uh, in a new covenant. Ate parmeshwar hai jis ne sanu nave neem de sevak hon de yog vi banaya hai. And this new covenant is not in the letter but it's by the Holy Spirit. Ate eh nava neem likht de vich nahi hai sago pavitra atma de vich hai. For the letter kills but the spirit gives life. Kyun jo likht maar sutdi hai par atma jwalda hai. Now what he's doing is comparing the old covenant to the new covenant. Uno ki kar raha hai ki wo purane neem di nave neem de naal tulna kar raha hai. And he says if I just try to keep a bunch of laws it's going to bring me to death. Ate wo aakhda hai ki jekar main hukma te vidhiyan di palana karda raha ta eh mainu maut wal leke aavega. Cuz I can't keep them. Kyunki main ohna di palana nahi kar sakda ha. And I'm always going to feel guilty and condemned. Ate main hamesha doshi ate apradhi mehsoos karda rahanga. and that's death ate oh maut hai and of course the bible says there's no condemnation to those in christ jesus ate bible aakhdi hai ki jehde masi yesu vich han ohna de upar koi vi saza da adhikar nahi hai so he says in the new covenant we're going to have the spirit which is going to give us life ate oh aakhda hai ki nave niyam de vich sade kol atma hovegi jo sanu jeevan den ja rahi hai so when i tune to the holy spirit he's going to say mark it's okay i love you isliye jadon main pavitra atma de naal judda ha ta oh aakhega ki mark koi gal nahi main tenu pyar karda ha And when I've journaled I've heard God tell me that hundreds of times. ਅਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਲੇਖ ਲਿਖੇ ਹਨ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਨੂੰ ਹਜ਼ਾਰਾਂ ਵਾਰ ਉਹ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਖਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਹੈ. And I said but God don't you want to hit me because I just fail so badly. ਅਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਆਖਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਤੂੰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੁਰਾ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ. He says no he says I love you. ਉਹ ਆਖਦਾ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਹਾਂ. He says I know your I know your your flesh that it's is weak. ਉਹ ਆਖਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਜਾਣਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਤੇਰਾ ਸਰੀਰ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਹੈ. He He said I made it it's just dust. Wo aakhda hai ki main isnu banaya hai eh ta sirf mitti hai. So don't be worried that your flesh is weak it's made of dust. Isliye chinta na kar ki tera sharir kamzor hai kyunki eh ta mitti to hi banaya hai. But he said I fused my spirit to you. Par usne aakhya ki main apni aatma nu tere andar pa deta ha. And so you can turn from the weakness of your flesh into the power of the Holy Spirit. Ate tu apne sharir di kamzori to pavitr aatma di shakti de vich badal sakda hai. and i can give you a divine energy ate main tuhanu ek swargi urja nu de sakda ha so instead of me saying god i really trying to love this person help me is le ek kehan di bajaye ki parmeshwar main is vyakti nu pyar karan di koshish kar raha ha meri sahayata kar instead i'm going to pray something like this main kuch is tarah de prarthna karanga i'm going to say god i can't love that person main akhan ja raha ha ki parmeshwar main us vyakti nu nahi pyar kar sakda ha i don't like him at all main usnu bilkul bhi pasand nahi karda ha But you're the love of the universe. Par tu vishv nu pyar karn wala hai. And you live within me. Ate tu mere naal rehnda hai. And so will you circumcise my heart. Ate tu mere dil di sunat kar de. Will you cut out the anger and the hatred. Ate tu is krodh ate nafrat nu mere andro kat de. And will you give me a divine love for this person. Ate is vyakti de layi tu mainu ek swargi pyar nu de de. 
and i fix my eyes on jesus and i see him giving me a new heart pate main apni aankhan nu yesu de val lagaunda ha ate us nu ek nava dil dinde hoye vekhda ha as a heart that pulsates with love ik oh dil jehda ki pyar de nal tadkda hai and love pours out of me ate pyar mere andro bahar nu unde le janda hai because of the work of the holy spirit through me pavitra atma de mere rahi kam karan de dwara that's a difference between the old and the new covenant ate oh purane ate nave neem de vichkar ik fark hai Let's go to the next verse verse 7. Oh, see ugly ait no vekhange ait sat. But if the ministry of death in letters engraved in stones came with glory so that the sons of Israel could not look intently at the face of Moses because of the glory on his face even though it was fading. Pranto je maut di sev kai jehdi akhra naal ate pathra utte ukri hoyi si ene tej naal hoyi pai Musa de mukh te tej karan jo paave alo pon wala si Israel da vans us de mukh wal tak na sakya. Verse eight. How much will the ministry of the Spirit fail to have even more glory? That day, the Atma the Save Kai Edu Vad Ke Tej Nal Ki Kur Na Hovegi. For if the ministry of condemnation had glory, because Je Doshi Dhanon the Save Kai Tej Roop Hai. How much more shall the ministry of righteousness abound in glory? The Taram the Save Kai Bahot Hi Vad Ke Tej Nal Hovegi. Now what he's saying in these verses is amazing. Hun jo in aayatan de vichak reha hai oh bahut adbhut hai. In verse 7 he talks about the ministry of death. Sat aayat de vich oh maut di sev kai de bare gal karda hai. Can you imagine that on a pastor's calling card? Ki tusi pastor di bulahat de card te is tarah likhe hoye di kalpana kar sakde ho. I have the ministry of death. Mere kol maut di sev kai hai. I'll make sure to make you feel really really awful. Main eh yakini banavanga ki tu sach much bahut hi jyada padda te bhayanak mehsoos kare. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to preach about the laws of God. Kyunki main ki karan ja raha ha ki main parmeshwar di sharad da prachar karan ja raha ha. And I'm going to show you how weak you are and how unable you are to fulfill the laws of God. Ate main tenu vikhavanga ki parmeshwar di sharad nu pura karan de vich tu kinna kamzor hai. And that's going to minister condemnation and death into your being. Ate oh maut ate doshi thehron di sev kai tuhade pran de vich rahi hai. And in verse nine, he calls it the ministry of condemnation. At the eighth note, the which always no dosh teheron vali sevkai akda hai. So if we're going to look at the laws and our inability to keep them, we're going to be ministering condemnation and death to people. At the jekar asi shara nu ati usnu pura karan de which sadi ayogita nu vekan ja rehe ha. Ta is dar thay ki asi loka nu maut ati dosh teheron di sevkai de rehe ha. So I don't want to do that. Me o nahi karna chonda ha. I don't want to do that against myself. Me usnu mere virud nahi karna chonda ha. or against you ya tade virudh because guess what none of us can keep the law kyunki sade vichon koi vi sharad da palan nahi kar sakda hai and it it's a designed to be a tutor that leads us to jesus is sade ik adhyapak hon de layi taiyar kiti gayi si taan jo yesu wal sanu leke ja sake and uh, jesus says by the power of the spirit i'll make you what you're not able to be yourself ate yesu aakta hai ki atma di shakti de naal main tenu oh karan de yog banavanga jo ki tu apne aap nahi kar sakda hai so i don't look at laws and my weakness ate main meri kamzoriyan de vich sharan nahi vekhda ha i look at jesus and the power of the holy spirit within me main yesu nu vekhda ha ate pavitra atma di shakti nu mere andar vekhda ha and that's what the bible says to do ate oh hi bible sanu karan de layi aakdi hai it says fixing your eyes on jesus wo aakdi hai ki yesu wal apni nazra nu tika deo But instead of me picturing Jesus right here next to me, ate tasveer banon di bajaye ki Yesu bilkul mere naal ithe hai. I would picture a bunch of laws. Ate main kujh neema di tasveer nu banonda ha. And my inability to keep them. Ate ohna nu pura karan vich meri ayogyata di. And so now I have the ministry of condemnation. Ate hun mere kol doshi thehron di sev kai aa jandi hai. So now I see Jesus. Hun main Yesu nu vekhda ha. He's obviously standing right here. Oh, Pratak Roop te the mere lage khada hai. Because he's joined to me. Kyunki oh mere naal judya hoya hai. And he's joined to you. Ate oh tode naal vi judya hai. And so I see Jesus right here and say, Jesus, do you want to handle that for me please? Ate main Yesu nu idhar vekhta ha te aakda ha ki Yesu tu mere layi kripa usnu sambhalna chahunda hai. And I'm asking Jesus to be the active force and to do it. Ate main Yesu nu kriyashil taakat hon de layi aak reha ha ate isnu karan de layi aak reha ha. So I don't see me standing here I see Jesus standing here. Atis lai main apne aap nu ithe khada nahi vekhda ha main ithe Yesu nu khada vekhda ha. 
and what we see is what we get ate jo assi vekhde ha oho assi prapat karde ha if i'm going to see laws and my weakness i'm going to get condemnation jekar main shara ate meri kamzori nu vekhan ja reha ha ta main doshi thehrai jaan nu prapat karanga if i'm going to see the holy spirit within me fuse me with strength i'm going to see righteousness ate jekar main eh vekhan ja reha ha ki pavitra atma mere andar usde taakat nu par reha hai ta main dharmikta nu vekhan ja reha ha So what is the difference between the Holy Spirit convicting me of a sin and Satan accusing me? Is the vichkar fark ki hai ki pavitra atma mainu ik paap de bare kail karonda hai ate shaitan mainu dosh launda hai. I want to give you three points of distinction. Main tuhanu fark de teen point dasna chahunda ha. When the Holy Spirit convicts you, jadon pavitra atma tuhanu kail karda hai. He points to a specific problem. Oh ik khas samasya wal sanket karda hai. and he urges us to repent ate us sanu tauba karan di binti karda hai and he points to a specific action he wants us to take ate us sanu ik khas kirya nu dasda hai jehdi ki oh chahunda hai ki assi kariye now when satan accuses us hun shaitan jadon sade te dosh launda hai he promotes a general feeling of despair to nirasha di ik kaam bhavna nu paida karda hai you're never going to change tu kade vi badlega nahi and he urges our destruction ate us sadi tabahi di binti karda hai he said you're never going to establish righteousness so just quit just die now wo aakda hai ki tu kade vi dharmikta nu sthapit nahi karan ja reha hai isliye isnu chhad de ate mar ja and he fosters hopelessness within us ate us sade andar nirasha nu par dinda hai So whenever I hear that taking place in my mind I say stop in the name of Jesus. Is liye jado kade vi main mere man de vich is tarah hunde hoye vekhda ha main aakda ha ki Yesu de naam vich band ho ja. I say that's a demon talking. Main aakda ha ki oh ik dusht aatma gal kar raha hai. And you are not allowed in my mind. Ate mere man de vich tenu bilkul vi ijazat nahi hai. I've been sanctified by the power of the Holy Spirit. Main pavitra aatma di shakti de dwara shuddh kita gaya ha. And I am filled with almighty God. Ate main sarv shakti man parmeshwar de naal parya gaya ha. Light fills my being. Janan mere pran nu par dindi hai. Demonic darkness leave in Jesus name. Shaitani andhkar Yesu de naam vich chhad ke chala ja. Now. Hone. Amen. Amen. And I'm very firm with it. Ate main is de naal bahut jyada dridh hona. Now let's close by looking at an example of Jesus. Aao si ek Yesu di udaharan nu vekhde hoye is nu band kariye. Jesus uh, is confronted with a woman who's caught in adultery. Yesu de kol ek jehi aurat lyandi gayi hai jehdi ki vichar de vich padi gayi si. So if your daughter was caught in adultery, what would you have to say to her? Hun jekar twadi thi vichar vich padi jaye ta tusi usnu ki aakhoge. I could think of a lot of things to say. Main aankhan de layi bahut sari gallan nu sochda ha. Don't you know your sins will find you out? Ki tenu pata nahi hai ki tera paap tere upar aa pavega. Don't you know that whatever you sow you're going to reap? Ki tu nahi jaandi ki jo vi tu bijengi oho vadengi. And you've disgraced your name? Ate tu apne naam di badnami kiti hai. And the name of your family? Ate apne parivar de naam di. And the name of Jesus Christ? Ate Yesu de naam di. Plus you've probably caught venereal disease? Is to ilawa sambhavi tenu oh khatarnak bimari vi lag gayi honi hai. And 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 the thoughts would just continue in that vein. Ate vichar usse lehar vich aunde rehenge. That is all demonic accusation. Oh sab shaitan de doshan. Here's what Jesus said to the woman. Yesu ne aurat nu is tarah akhya. He said go and sin no more. Usne akhya ja ate mud paap na kare. He starts with a specific point and he says from this point forward go forward and here's the action you should take. Oh ik khas sanket de naal shuru karda hai ate aakda hai ki hun ton tu dobara is kirya nu na dohrai. That's holy spirit conviction. Ye pavitra atma da kail karna hai. You start with the present you go into the future. Tusi vartaman to shuru karde ate pavikh de vich jande ho. And you say here is the specific action that God wants you to take. Ate tusi aakde ho ki ithe ik khas kaam hai jehda ki parmeshwar chahunda hai ki tusi karo. Man I don't think my first word would have been go. Main nahi sochda ha ki mere pehle shabad eh hoye hone si ki ja. I think my first word would be get back here so I can preach you a sermon and tell you off. Mera pehla shabad eh hoya hona si ki wapas aayi ta jo main tenu prachar kar saka ate tenu eh chhadan layi aak saka. And if I would have done that that would have been demonic accusation coming out of my lips. Ate jekar main is tarah kita hunda ta shaitani dosha nu mere bulan to bahar aun dena si. So I've learned to step away from the accuser, the deceiver, the liar and the adversary. Is layi main eh sikhya hai ki dosh laun wale ton, dhokha den wale ton, jhoot bolan wale ton ate virodhi ton dur hi raha. And I've learned to allow the comforter to speak his thoughts into my mind. Ate main tasalli den wale nu ijazat ditti hai ki oh mere man de vich vichara rahi bol sake. 
and we're going to take the next section to talk about the names of the comforter ate assi agle session de vich us tasalli den wale de nama nu vekhan ja rahe ha and as we close this session why don't you take this to god in prayer ate jado assi is session nu prarthna karde ha ta tusi is nu prarthna de vich parmeshwar ko leke jao and say lord show me any inroads that satan has in my mind ate kaho ki prabhu mainu ohna raha nu vikha jinna de rahi shaitan mere man de vich aa gaya hai any places where accusation rules in my mind mere mann de vich koi bhi ajeha sthan jithe ki dosh laun di bhavna raaj karde hai or where there's lies about things ya jithe ki gallan de bare kujh jhoot hai or where there's thoughts that steal my faith hope and love ya jithe ki ajehe vichar han jehde ki mere vishwas aas ate pyar nu chori kar rahe han lord show me those prabhu mainu oh vikha so that i can repent of them ta jo main ohna to tauba kar saka and i can come against demons ate main dusht aatma da samna kar saka and say in the name of jesus i bind these demons ate akha ki yesu de naam vich main na dusht aatma nu band denda ha and i command you to leave me in jesus name ate main yesu de naam vich tuhanu chhad ke jaan da hukm denda ha so i can become cleansed ate main shuddh ho sakda ha so i can become filled with the holy spirit ta jo main pavitra aatma naal par saka and in the next session we'll talk about being filled with the spirit agle session de vich assi pavitra aatma naal pare rehan de bare gal karange So Father I pray that you grant revelation Pita main prarthna karda ha ki tu sanu prakash de into the hearts and minds of each person who's seen this video Us har ek vyakti de dil ate dimag de vich jis ne ye video vekhi hai Help them see the voice of the accuser Unna nu dosh laun wale di awaaz nu vekhan vich sahayata kar and the and the voice of the condemner ate apradhi thairon wale di awaaz nu vekhan vich and help them become free of that voice ate unna di sahayata kar ki oh is awaaz tu azad ho sakan In Jesus name Yesu de naam vich Amen. 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 Amen.